Hi everyone, my name is Otis. You're welcome to Talents Academy. So I have a very interesting topic for you today. But before I get started, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get an alert when we release our new video. So our topic today is the six SEO strategies to get your site run quickly on Google and other search engines. Are you wondering why your site is not ranked? Are you wondering why people can't find your site on the internet? The, the reason is because your site is not optimized. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the different step which I call the low hanging strategies that will help you to rank your site quickly on search engines. Over 5.5 billion internet searches every single day. How do, you, how do you want people to discover your brand? How do you catch up with the sales from these uh, entire searches on the internet? So that is why I'm going to show you how to optimize your site quickly on search engine follow, following this basic step. So let's get started. So uh, today, uh, like I just said, we are starting with the six SEO strategies to improve your Google ranking. So one of those strategies is creating a sitemap. So sitemap tells Google which pages and files you think that are important in your site. So the simple definition of a sitemap is sitemap is a HTML document that list all your web pages in a hierarchical order, specifying their priority and update frequency to search engines. The search engines do understand your website through your sitemap when it crosses it. And your sitemap makes it easy for search engines to cross your site. So it is very, very important for your, for your ranking, for your SEO purpose because it provides valuable information about all the pages on your website and how they are laid out. So, and it's also important that you update your sitemap whenever uh, you make any changes on your site. So one of the ways you can do it is actually uploading it into uh, the Google console. So the next one is, uh, submit your sitemap to different directories. So the reason why you have to submit your site to different directories is because uh, you get more backlinks through uh, this submission to different directories. You can do it manually and you can automate it, but I do mine manually. So the sitemap gives your site information to search engines. So submitting your URL directly to search engines ensure that the, the spiders, the, the, the boards, uh, the robots cross your site at the earliest uh, time possible. So because you don't have to wait for Google or other search engine to crawl your site before you submit, to, you submit your, your URL to these different search engines because it facilitates uh, the crawling and indexing of your site. So use the sitemap to submit specific search engines, sorry, use your site to submit to specific search engines and directories. It is very, very important. Also, you can also check if there are issues with your existing submissions and create uh, any submission uh, and correct any submission issues. So thirdly, analyzing your content. Analyzing your content is one of the key content marketing metrics that defines and measure your content goals to improve your content strategy. No matter how long you know your target audience, there's always room for you to improve your content by ensuring that your on-page keywords accurately ref reflect what the searchers are searching on the internet or the ability to meet the searcher's intent. So analyze and track how your content is effectively communicating the goals and the objective of your business. 
it is very, very important. These are the fundamental features, of, uh, fundamental features of your SEO strategy. So the next is generate keywords. And before I uh, go further, I just want to tell us what uh, keyword means uh, for newbies, people who are new to, to search engine optimization, people who are new to SEO. So keyword is a term or ideas that defines what your content is all about and how your site advertises that content to search engines and to the outside world. Ensuring the search engines properly match your site to search terms when users perform a query on the browser. What that means is that when a user goes on the internet, uh, it starts from the browser, they put certain words if they are looking for a product or services. So that word they put into the browser, they are querying the browser to help them find information that will be relevant to their search. So that word is called the keyword. So, and you have different keyword tools that will help you to actually do these searches. This is another uh, fundamental feature of, of your SEO strategy. So the next is uh, tag optimization. Tag optimization highlights the most important element of your website page content. It provides more details about your site to search engines and visitors searching for relevant information from the search engine result pages. Search engines like Google, the, the Bing, the Yandex, the Yelp, and many others. But Google is one of the most uh, popular search engines. So search engines use this tag to evaluate the relevance of your site to users when the users query for that information before ranking your site. So they, it also helps to organize your content for search engines and reader to know exactly what the information that is contained on your pages. Uh, this let me, for WordPress users, uh, WordPress has made it easy for you because it, it makes provision for your tag elements. So this is where you can actually uh, classify or itemize uh, uh, some of the most uh, important elements of your web page. So uh, we're going to uh, the last one, which is the uh, controlling crawling. So which is part of the SEO strategy to also improve your Google ranking. If you want to achieve a higher rank on search engine result, so it is important that you pay attention to these elements. So you can determine what pages on your website for search engines to crawl by creating robot test, uh, what we call the robot test files. So uh, you, you can upload it into your root direct, the, the root directory of your uh, host, your hosts or your, your hosting account. So the robot test actually specify what you do or you do not want search engine spiders to see on your website. So there are some information that you don't want the, uh, that is not meant for public consumption. So if you just want to dissuade the search engine from crawling that page, so all you need to do is to check the boss that you don't want the search engine, which is created in this uh, form of this robot test. So uh, what it's all about is that, you, that it allows the search engine and also you can also block a specific page for search engine, for search engine not to be able to assess that page or you can block the entire site or you can block entire category for search engine so that the those pages will not be available for public consumption so uh, these are some of those elements if you really want to uh, optimize your site and you're looking forward uh, in appearing on the first page of Google uh, they are very they are basic and most important aspect of your SEO foundation. So uh, I believe that I've actually gone through these uh, six most important elements for your search engine, but if you search engine optimization, but if you have question regarding uh, this important features that I've actually discussed, so you can send us email that will be displayed uh, in this video and also follow us on social media, on Facebook, on YouTube, 
so you can subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave your comment and feedback. So, and I look forward to see you in our next presentation. And I just want to say thank you for watching and have a great day.